because otherwise there's not really a lot of ending to this poke war that's going to happen, and Ezreal just isn't enough to cut it against Varys Corky. And that's kind of my worry, is that basically KT's picked up a lineup that's going to catch poke. They don't have a lot of initiation. It's a risk. Well, they'll have the damage, too, and Score has been under control for most of this game. Back in his base right now. This wave could be a good dive opportunity. Smeb, here we go. Vision. Up. And look at that, just a flash forward onto the equalizer. There's the knockback. And that's going to be first blood taken by Smeb. So they got it where they wanted it. Good setup. And score just a non-factor on this Nunu. Hasn't been counter jungling, but getting counter jungled himself. Okay. Um, finds wisdom. We're waiting to see what can happen here. Score's got permanent slow, and Gragas has his flash available though. Well, no ult here except for the shockwave, but that's just not going to be enough. Actually, Fixer manages to make his way. There's a Varus arrow, and look at this. The Tiger's absolutely catching him in the choke right now. Teleport in from Sunday. Can they get some work done? Gorilla getting low. No ultimate for him yet. Fixer goes down. And that is Sunday. Everyone just piling into the AoE and a huge number of kills. Four for one for the Ku Tigers. Does make it difficult. And if you miss that power spike, you just never do damage. Pretty much. So there are ways to shut it down. But, you know, against Sununu, that's less likely to happen. Fixer getting dove underneath this dirt. There's an equalizer coming in off the TP. And Prey and Gorilla not even really needing Smeb right there, but they're going to back it up with the Dragon take. Smeb gets the assist. That 100% kill contribution, easy Dragon for the Tigers. The score is still doing his best. Evelyn impression, and not in the good way, Monte Cristo. Still no real pressure around the map. Has an assist to his name. Crucially didn't die in the previous engage, but an unanswered. Okay, Goldie, this is a, a pretty ideal situation for them. And here we go, Prey. Wow, the dives keep on rolling in. There's the equalizer. Fixer getting caught. Gorilla nets the kill. Oh, here, score in someday. Actually, some exciting stuff going on. Tower dive someday. Coming in, score tanking the turret. Someday moving forward with the W, and that'll be a kill, unfortunately, for Fixer. Someday. There's arrow getting out of the way with his E. And now, this siege here. is so potent right now. Rose locked out though, they're down to the back line. We're waiting to see what happens in this fight. Shockwave hasn't been used yet. There it is on three members, but not a lot of damage behind it. They just don't have a threat on this team here. And they just keep sitting here. It's no slowly big. Slowly working their way. No big minion wave pressure. Wow. That's the chain of corruption. Waiting to see if they actually engage. They're gonna keep with the poke, but as the engage, we see score fall very, very low. Fixer in the back line also low, but they're probably just gonna take this turret back away. And there's the follow-up. Shockwave not going to do too much. Arrow eating some rockets, running for his life with that blood boil. There's a rocket. Oh! And there's the piercing arrow for the finisher. And everyone just getting roasted as KT bulldozes their way through a tier two. It's the Ezra Oriana that kind of is the big issue to me, because of course you first pick that rise. We see them aggressing onto Baron, no vision in the area whatsoever. We're seeing Nunu come close, but will the Baron even be alive by the time he gets there? Probably not. Probably Here we not. go, KT, but Gorilla clogging the choke right now. There's the chain of corruption, followed by the poke. Lantern will rip score out of the fight. Nakne trying to back off, equalizer lands. Everyone disrupted by the explosive cast. Smev on the side. Torching someday, and now Score wandering around, There's just slapping no people with his Yeti in the back of the fight. But that's it. Fixer is going to be the last to fall for the perfect ace. Or Gorilla actually managed to die. Excuse me, but five for one. It makes sense in either identity. You could go for a pick comp. You pick a lot of power and. I really pick thought we would name. see Azir here with this dude. There we go. Equalizer, oh, equalizer. in the choke. Nagne gonna take a bit of damage right there from the P bomb. Rockets continue. There is Gorilla. He comes in, but Arrow will flash. Wisdom not done. Nagne under the tower gets slowed. There's no follow up, though. And someday still quite into in the front line, watching to see this rise damage. Still not at full power. Wisdom should fall, though. Dies for free, basically, but there's the engage. Yeah, Smeb's still in the back line, coming in with that teleport. They want this turret. Chain of Corruption goes down, but it doesn't actually lock too many people up. They flashing out, just trying to clear out some of these Baron-empowered minions as Score gets nuked. 
Yep, the damage is just huge from Kuri. The item timings aren't there for KT. Tank's position in the front line, well, honestly, only one tank with Alistair being the only one alive. Prey's actually dueling with Arrow, has to flash away. So let's follow that logic. Let's follow what KT oh. have done. Uh, see an engage. A gorilla just flash pulled absolutely nothing right there, so a bit of a misplay. Just slightly. Obviously went for the flash headbutt pull and was out of headbutt range as far as we can tell. Yeah, more than likely. And there we go. Gorilla now getting hooked in. Has the unbreakable will on. There's the shock wave. Does no damage. Yes. And there is someday just melting in the middle of a team fight. Okay, we're just seeing some clean up here. Wait and see another piercing arrow potentially take down somebody. Score and the rest of his team just trying to di just distract them from finishing the game, but there's nothing they can do, and that's been the tone of all 30 minutes of this game. Yeah, this siege is just irresistible from the Koo Tigers. They will take a very easy 30-minute win for that game one victory. KT has a lot to think about in this second match. The Tigers cruising. And Koo parlaying their strong play against CJ that didn't translate into a win, into at least a first game win here. A lot of the things that we leveled against KT, smart drafting, smart playing around power.